our LDAP system was not compatible um, with the Kaltura system, so we had a, a central authentication system called CAS that was a go-between between our LDAP and Kaltura and our LMS Moodle. And our Moodle integration, um, this is a screenshot of it. Um, we also were faced with a challenge, should we use the Moodle API to integrate the scheduling system um, directly into the API? The way our courses were built, it didn't seem to work out. So instead, we chose to either embed a link within the course itself, or as you can see here, we implemented um, embedding the playlist directly within the class. This is a screenshot of our media space. It's just like, it looks very similar to your guys' um, interface there. But um, what we were challenged with was, once you authenticate, should we use channels or galleries? The channels would um, be permission restricted and you would be able to moderate it, or did we want the content to be open to all who authenticate? And in the end, we decided to um, use uh, galleries, and you can see here the gallery structure actually creates the user interface. So our courses are our galleries, and the students are able to see that. But as you saw from the video, we did get feedback from the students. So they did like the ability to be able to search by keyword and topic, um, since we tag all the videos with the different topics. However, um, as Louisa said, this, the titles are very long in medical school, and searching for a video can be quite cumbersome. So um, this is the grid view as you see it, but we have recently implemented changes um, where we were able to make thumbnails with an expanded view. Um, one benefit that, um, of doing this is that the titles are longer. However, um, the blue tags that are with it are the faculty names. So sometimes, because we have one large course with multiple faculty members, the students want to be able to search by a specific faculty name. And then in the collapse view, you can also see that the thumbnails are removed. However, um, an additional change that we made here was it used to say um, the video was uploaded uh, four days ago or two weeks ago. But the students wanted to be able to search by date. So this is coming down the pike for us in our redesign of our user interface is to be able to search by date. So if you have missed class on, let's say, January 22nd, you can just browse through the calendar and find that date. And then all of the lectures from that date will show up.